Welcome to Forensics Detectors, a special application video on how to undertake a correct, a proper, a effective headspace analysis with the Forensics Detectors Oxygen Headspace Analyzer. This is our FD-600-02 Headspace Analyzer. It is sitting on our gas detector stand. It's quite nice, especially nice for the food industry where it can be hands-free. It's very strong and heavy and stable. And the Headspace Analyzer comes with two sets of filter and needle setups, folks. There is your silicon grade tubing that draws the air into the unit. Okay, folks, that's the basic setup. Now, when you turn on the unit, the pump will be working. The pump will be working, but at the moment it is off. I will show you how to turn it on and off. You just simply press, okay, let's start again. You're at the main menu at the home screen, press the left button. It says pump, it's off. Press the right button to toggle it and the pump turns on. It is ready for a headspace analysis, folks. Air is being drawn from the needle and into and into the unit. Be very, very careful always with the needle, folks. Be very careful. When you're not using it, please put on the cap. We don't want any accidental stabbings or anything like that. Okay, so I will leave it off just for the minute and then I'll undertake my analysis. Let's go to the main screen. Before you start, make sure it is reading 20.9%. Very important. And make sure your unit is calibrated. We recommend between six to 12 months, regular calibration. Okay, folks, regular calibration. Why is that important? It's important for accuracy. You wanna make sure it is reading 0.1% of oxygen and that represents accuracy. Um, in this case, when you start, you wanna make sure it's always 20.9. That's the oxygen in the atmosphere. The unit is drawing air at the moment from the environment, from the indoor space, which is 20.9% and showing you 20.9%. So these are the common items that we usually are asked. Another common question is the red fan. See that fan up the top? It's actually red. Now, it's always a good idea to make it green. And that basically tells the unit that the resistance it's feeling on the micro pump is a normal resistance because we don't have any blockage or anything like that. So you just have to give it a little calibration on the micro pump. All you do is from the main screen, you press the middle button to get into your main menu, then go to settings, press enter, and then go to air pump. And then this gives it a calibration value. Just press save and it tells it this suction, this resistance is normal. It's not gonna trigger any alarms or anything like that. And you could see now the fan symbol is green. Okay, that's just a small side note. Don't let that confuse you at all. Now let's proceed. You would have received some scepter. Go ahead, take one off carefully and place it on your food packaging. Now, obviously you don't wanna place and take a sample next to the food. You wanna make sure it's somewhere, either in the middle, in the corner, somewhere where you believe is a safe place where there is no food that will intercept the needle when you put the needle in, okay, folks? That is very important. And what I like to do is, <clears throat> I like to come in on an angle, okay, folks? So that's basically it. I will go ahead. Now, once the sept is on and we've dabbed it down and it's very, very nice. I'm gonna come in on an angle, folks, just like that. You see, it's on an angle. It's on about a 45 degree angle. And I heard some resistance on the micro pump as it went through the scepter. That's good. And now it's reading the air in the package. It's going down. And I know broccoli, I know broccoli is flushed with nitrogen and it's going down. Now, the common question is, Dr. Koz, does this unit stop pumping and does it give me a final value? No, it doesn't stop pumping like the units you're used to. Give it a good 30 to 60 seconds and you will notice the oxygen levels will start to plateau and you will take that as your measurement. The lowest value will be your measurement, okay, folks? We're going now below 1%. I'm confirming this is a very good oxygen flush. You see that, folks? That's a fantastic oxygen flush and you could see the numbers are plateauing and starting to stabilize at about point nine zero okay folks and even within less than 60 seconds i'll take the needle out and i am done i'm done with my oxygen analysis now your company based on the volume based on the gas that you have you may at a certain point come up with a standard operating procedure where you have instructions to tell your employees after 60 seconds to take the final measurement or after 45 seconds or after 100 sec you will figure that out okay folks you will figure that out but i would like to mention with time the filter 
may get clogged, especially if you have some liquids or high humidity or any debris, okay? These are the common things we see with our customers. The needle could be blocked. If it's not reading, please check the needle or replace the needle. We have headspace kits that you could buy these in bulk and you should depending of course on the usage and how many hours you should replace them we recommend usage of the filter and needle it's about a hundred samples okay folks now again the side note here is it depends if it's a clean substance like this broccoli there is no um debris or any small little things that could possibly clog this guy that's good for about 100 samples also pay attention sometimes the rubber debris may be stuck on the needle these are things to watch out for okay folks because this is the feedback that we've seen from our customers over the several years we have been selling the unit now beyond that that's basically it if there's any questions or any concerns drop us a line and we are always responding fast within 24 hours of any email that we receive. I hope that makes sense. Be well, be safe, and see you soon.